Good morning, guys. It is about 8 a.m. I just took a shower and I'm going downstairs to get some things to eat. Once I do that and make some tea, I will tell you about what's on my agenda for the day. So I'm gonna start with this cantaloupe and I'm not gonna eat it in front of you because I find people eating on camera, like on Instagram stories and stuff, like can't deal with it. It really grosses me out. So I'm just gonna start with this cantaloupe and then I'm probably gonna have some yogurt, I think. That's kind of what I feel like this morning. to get a new tripod if I'm gonna be doing this with any regularity. I need one that like extends up more than I have. I also just added a little bit of peanut butter to that yogurt. Um, so like kind of having a light breakfast this morning. So what's on the agenda today? Well, first of all, welcome to a vlog because thanks to everybody on Patreon, like hunch down to get in here. Thanks to everybody on Patreon. I now am pretty much committed to doing two Lamour vlogs a month on YouTube, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to have to get over my perfectionism and kind of just start doing them as I'm doing them this morning. I get like so in my head about them for whatever reason, because I want them to be kind of like, I don't know what I want them to be like, <laughs> but I just kind of have to whip out my camera and start doing them. So thank you so much to everyone on Patreon that has made this possible. And if you would like to support the endeavor, I always have a link down below. Yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna just take you guys around today. I am going to see an acupuncturist. I have an appointment at 10.30, so I'm gonna be home for like another hour and a half or so, hour, 40 minutes and then we're gonna head to acupuncture. This will be my first time seeing her. So I'm excited. I haven't had acupuncture in about a month or a month and a half, so I'm definitely due. Before that, I'm gonna go upstairs and put on a little makeup and I have a little bit of new makeup to play with. I'm not sure when you're gonna see this, but I have an unboxing for a gift with purchase bundle that features some makeup products and I'm in the process of testing and like I want to add some first impressions to that unboxing video so I'm gonna go try that makeup I'm just letting my hair air dry I may style it probably after acupuncture we'll see or I may not I've just kind of been letting it do its thing and what else to do today I have a lot of emails to catch up on I have to do a bunch of petit conseils again for people on patreon I have some video editing to do I wanted to actually go to Credo, and I've been meaning to go for weeks now, but I wanted to take in my bag of empty makeup. If you watched that video from, I don't know, three weeks ago now probably, I still have the bag of empty makeup and I wanna take it into Credo and see if they'll recycle it. I had always thought that you have to take them empty makeup or empty products from brands that they carry, but apparently you can take in any empty beauty product containers and they recycle them and you get points i guess which translate into being money off so we're gonna see i don't know if they'll take it but it's kind of worth a shot oh the other thing i wanted to say as i was getting my breakfast together i've been like on a faye kick I just i've sort of been craving like the thick creamy yogurt and we've been watching silicon valley i know like very late to the game but um Ehrlich is always walking around eating Faya yogurts and talking about it. So I just thought it was like kind of funny and I <laughs> wanted to mention that. So I'm really hungry. I'm gonna eat this little plate that I put together, drink some tea that I made. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Living here in Los Angeles, most people are surface dry and you cannot use a foam and cleanser because if you set up a slate that is dry on top, Oil cannot get out, which means- So obsessed with Narada. Her videos are so informative and so good. Okay, let's um, go upstairs and put some makeup on the face. 
Yesterday I watched Karima McKimmy's No Foundation uh, video. Highly recommend if you're someone that likes light coverage or is having any kind of skin issues. I know that she sort of struggles with dermatitis outbreaks and I have been having, if you watch, um, we're not gonna do that, are we? It looks good now, but I need more light. I guess the balance of the camera kind of adjusts, but unfortunately I need the light and this is not, you know, really a makeup video. I guess I used this yesterday, the Suntegrity. Sorry, I'm a little cut off. I will try and get a new tripod. What was I saying? Oh, I watched Karima McKimmy's No Foundation video yesterday and I have been having, oh, that's what I was saying. If you watched my recent skincare routine video, I have been having very dry skin since moving and readjusting to a new climate. I think I'm gonna try her technique today. So I'm not really gonna explain it here, but you'll just kind of see what I'm doing. I need a face oil to do it though. And I'm just gonna use the Skin Owl Geranium Drops. Let me get a beauty blender dampened. Okay, so I'm not gonna be using any kind of real base or foundation today. If I were, I would probably be using the RMS on Cover Up, which I need to get. My makeup organization really needs some help. <laughs> kind of just like making do with what I have right now. This is my current one, so I'm gonna need to get a new one of these pretty soon. But let's try this no foundation technique, which pretty much just relies on concealer. So I'm gonna take the Becca Aqua Luminous and just do under my eyes first, as normal. I already have SPF on. I think I'm wearing the Josh Rosebrook today. Karima's technique for no foundation coverage is to take your concealer, put a little bit on the back of your hand, that much maybe. Put in a drop of face oil, drop or two, I guess. I'm just gonna do one, because that looks like enough. And you kind of do your little mixology. Then you basically just get it on your fingers and you do this patting motion, like so where you want a little bit of coverage. Now I am most red sort of around my nose and on my cheeks and a little bit on my chin. So that's kind of where I'm gonna focus. Apparently everything is in this little padding, tapping motion. It gives a really nice finish actually. I like that technique, it's very pretty. Very subtle, obviously, and not for everybody, but as my skin has just needed to breathe and has been having some issues, I like that. I'm gonna do a little bit of Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage just around my nose. That was the main thing that I wanted to show you guys. I kind of need to power through the rest of my makeup, so I'm just gonna let the camera roll and fast forward the footage so that you can see it, but, uh, I don't have time to talk through the rest of my makeup, plus it's going to be very simple, but I'll show you what I'm using. So, cue royalty-free music. <laughs>
that is the makeup done. Very just quick and easy just to have something on my face while I run around today. I'm not a fan of the lip product I tried, but I am a fan of the other two face products that I was testing, the bronzer and the highlight. Although it's not intentionally meant as a highlight, it's actually um, one of the RMS eye polishes that I decided to try as a highlight and I really like it, but I don't really like the lip thing. So you will hear more about those in that unboxing first impressions videos. Just finished eating this kind bar and I just got out of acupuncture. Wow, that's a metro train horn. Um, acupuncture was really good, actually. I like this woman. I think I'm gonna see her again in two weeks. I mean, I'll see how my body kind of takes to the treatment and stuff, but so far so good. I feel nice and relaxed. She gave me, they're called ear seeds. I don't know if you'll be able to see but right like in here, there's like a little acupuncture needle essentially. Um, or it's like one that can sort of stay on for, it's like a little sticky mini acupuncture needle. And therefore just kind of keeping you calm and day to day stress relief, uh, which I need. <laughs> so I thought I was going to go to Credo directly from here. I even brought my bag of makeup empties but I think and I'm really glad I had this because I had such a light breakfast that I'm um, feeling a little blood sugary crashy so I'm gonna go home I think and sorry the camera's tilted I'm gonna go home and make some lunch regroup and then I think I'm gonna head out to Credo I also decided that I want to pop by Whole Foods and pick up some ground beef because my acupuncturist said yes you need to be eating beef and lamb which I always know that I do. I just, it's a, I feel like as a woman, it's a constant thing where you're trying to build blood and, and not get deficient in certain areas. So things like red meat, lamb, beets, um, red or blue colored berries, like blueberries and blackberries, um, very nourishing, blood nourishing foods like that are particularly good for my constitution anyway. So I think I'm gonna go get some grass-fed ground beef and make that for dinner. Yeah, so that's kind of the plan. I'm gonna head home and I'll show you what I make for lunch. I've been <laughs> going through a cream cheese kick, so I think I'm gonna make a bagel sandwich with, I got some, uh, I think they're Udi's gluten-free bagels with cream cheese. And like, I think I'm gonna put like some cucumber and spinach and stuff and make like a little cream cheese bagel sandwich. I might have some eggs on the side. I'm like pretty freaking hungry. We went out to brunch last weekend with my sister and brother-in-law. Sorry, I've had my glasses on this whole time. And Cave got a smoked salmon plate. It was basically like a bagel and lox. So it was like cream cheese and all these like toppings. And I had such like order envy when I saw that he had that. So I've been like craving cream cheese since then. So I got some at the store and now I just want to eat the cream cheese on the bagel, so I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, this is what I'm having for lunch. Uh, I just scrambled two eggs, and then this is a gluten-free bagel with a bunch of cream cheese and some baby spinach. I put a little bit of olive oil and some cucumber. I can actually show you the bagels. So these are the ones I got. The Udi's gluten-free, soft and chewy everything bagels. I've never tried these before. And then this is the cream cheese that I'm trying, the Nancy's organic cream cheese. So, so I discovered this gluten-free bakery called Deflowered because they carry the their products at my local Whole Foods. So this is a brownie. I've tried the lemon bar. They also have carrot cake and I think cookies and I think more at like their actual location, but I've just been kind of having, it's very dense and good, so I've just been cutting off small pieces and having that as like a little sweet treat after a meal. I don't know if any of that just recorded. I was just talking for the last couple of minutes, but small change of plans. I decided to get in my car and come to the mall instead of going to Credo. I didn't really feel like taking the train. I was a little bit too tired. I didn't really feel like driving because the traffic gets really bad in the afternoon. So if, if I go, I might go tomorrow, more in the morning. I think they don't open till like 11. But I came to the mall because I want to return something at Sephora and I have a credit to use so I might do a little shopping and see what I get um, if anything I've been really uninspired going into Sephora lately and truthfully I don't really need anything but I do have some money to use and I guess I could pick up my birthday gift even though I'm gonna get the bite beauty gift but 
I already kind of know that it's the colors probably aren't going to be right for me and then I have to pick up a couple of cards and I think that there's a papyrus here so I'll likely do that and see what else I mean it's an in it's like an outdoor mall which I like and it's quite a nice day out today no you're not gonna hurt her and the guy made me feel so good about that because like you said it's all full I made it home. I'm quite tired. Yeah, but why don't I show you what I got quickly. So I ended up stopping by Whole Foods as well, per my acupuncturist. So, also do you like my new little house slippers? I got these on sale at Nordstrom. Some beets. They're just, I really didn't feel like kind of making my own. So I got these, are very, very convenient cooked beets and I got some in mild vinegar and some regular these will stay good for a while so um, without being opened and then I got some blackberries which were on sale half a pound of grass-fed ground beef I think I'm gonna have this uh, for dinner tonight okay then I did manage to stop by papyrus thank you cards and I thought that these were nice I need to write a couple thank you cards and should I show you what I got at Sephora? I'm gonna be showing it in another video, but obviously I went for the bite one and not the, uh, I feel like that's not focusing. <laughs> Make it focus next to the beats. Obviously I went for the bite one and not the glam glow. I also got on the recommendation of TT Sandra, she really likes this Becca lip gloss, Liptuitive Glow Gloss. And then I also decided to pick up a NARS eyeshadow duo that I've wanted for probably seven years. There's like a little bit of a story behind this. It's in the shade Cordura, I think. Yeah, Cordura. I'll show this in my like bigger Mercedes shops, uh, but I've wanted this palette for, or it's just a duo for a number of years when I had my makeup done at a NARS counter before a wedding and I had the, the credits, oops, I had the credits to use, so that was my little mini haul. Okay, I need to just do like a little bit of tidying up and then I think I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. After acupuncture, a lot of times, um, you can feel sort of like accu-stoned for the rest of the day, which is just sort of like, I don't know, you're sort of like integrating the treatment and can feel a little bit depleted and I kind of just have like a low-grade headache and some fatigue, so I think I'm gonna lie on the couch. Uh, I'm not really hungry. It's about 5.30 and I haven't eaten since noon. Uh, I might have some rice crackers with hummus, which actually sounds really good to me right now. Uh, I'll probably be back and show you my dinner. Okay, this is like one of the most random dinners ever and I'm sure it does not look very appetizing, but I was gonna make some of the ground beef and put it in pasta and I just had no desire really. So I just made a quick salad of baby spinach dressed with some... Um, organic olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and then I chopped up a bunch of the beets that I showed you, the ones in vinegar, and then there's also some sunflower seeds on there. Uh, this is literally just sauteed ground beef, 85% lean, grass-fed with salt and pepper, and then I made like a little quesadilla with a corn tortilla and some cheese. <laughs> that is going to be my dinner.